when we were talking about lens setups on the bolt, we mentioned that the nodal offsets on the Milo were different and differently orientated due to the rear mounted camera mount rather than the top mounted camera mount. This means that my nodal offsets for my lenses when I'm mounted on the Milo are X that way, Y this way, and Z this way. The nodal offsets, if one is using relatively simple moves, are not that important. But when one comes to do precision work or transfer to CGI or any export of the data of the movement, then you need accurate setup of your lens and your camera. This involves not only getting the nodal point distance from the center of the pan and tilt correct, but also where the measure hook is, where the camera itself is actually mounted and other such measurements. All those are part of the standard lens setup. When we have done these measurements of the nodal offset, the one uncertainty we have is where exactly is the nodal point within the lens? And there is a setup we can do, which we're going to do in a moment, to prove exactly where that nodal point is. And this uses the capability of panning when in Cartesians in order to use parallax effects to align the nodal point exactly. In order to verify that our nodal point measurement is absolutely correct, we're going to look at our lens setup. This particular lens is the Arrow Macro 40 millimeters. And we have a figure there for X nodal offset. To illustrate this, I'm first of all going to go and set that to five centimeters. I know this is wrong, but it will illustrate what I'm trying to show you in order to be able to correctly set this up. So we'll apply that. I'm now going to go to this position. And this position contains two pencils very carefully lined up on axis of this camera. We are focused at a point midway between the two, so we have reasonably good focus within the depth of field of the uh, lens we're using. And from this position, we're going to go into Cartesian view and we're going to use pan. As we pan, we are panning nodally because we are in Cartesians. And if our nodal point is incorrect, the pencils will shift with respect to each other on screen. If you can see those pencils there, they've shifted apart on screen on that side. And then if I go on to the other side, they've shifted apart in the other direction. This illustrates that the nodal point is incorrect because we are panning around a point that is not the nodal point. So I'm now going to turn off my Cartesians. I'm going to go back to my first position and I'm going to set my X nodal offset to something at the other extreme. Going back into my Cartesian view and panning again, I find now my pencils separate but they do so in a different sequence. Here my front pencil is moving less and my rear pencil is moving more. This means my nodal point is further away from the film plane. In this way, I can see what is wrong with my nodal point and I can adjust it accordingly. So, I'm out of Cartesian view. Go to my position one. Let's put in a figure that I know is correct. 
which is 0 0.11. So that is 11 centimetres forward of the intersection of the pan and tilt. I'm going to apply that, go into Cartesian view again, and pan. And my pencils stay perfectly lined up as I move across the screen. In this way, I can check and, by iteration, find the exact nodal point for this camera position. Having set my nodal offset, I can also measure again my measure optical offset and, if necessary, my measure offset in order to verify that the camera is actually in that position before doing accurate filming. This has been a Mark Roberts motion control training video. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.